EMEX leading on the Reflex project. It's a really, really strong partnership. So we've got EMEX at the front. We've got commercial partners, which is Aquaterra, Doosan and Solo Energy. We've got research partner through Heriot Watt, and then we've got Orkney Islands Council and Community Energy Scotland. Uh, and within this project, we're trying to establish a virtual energy system in Orkney that brings together the heat, power and transport networks. So Reflex is coming together of a, a number of different businesses in Orkney to address some particular challenges that we have here in Orkney at the moment, but the same challenges are starting to be felt across the wider UK as we transition towards renewables. Over the last 20 years, we've really been on a journey learning about how renewables can help make this transition from a carbon-full energy system to a carbon-free energy system. And as we've gone along that journey, we've realised some of the technical challenges, some of the resource challenges, and we're now coming to the stage where it's really some of the commercial challenges uh, that we also need to address. In Orkney, we've got a very high level of renewable generation from wind and, and solar uh, and other forms of generation such as wave and tidal. All of these renewable generation sources are obviously low carbon, uh, but they are intermittent. So they, you know, the wind comes and goes, the sun comes and goes. So the Reflex project involves deploying battery systems and smart electric vehicle charging to balance the intermittency of renewables. So what Solo does, we have a software platform which we use to control battery systems across the grid to respond to the intermittency of renewable generation. So basically when there's lots of renewables generating, we charge battery systems across the grid, store that low cost renewable energy, and then release it back to the grid when the renewable generation decreases. If we're gonna make this transition, we need to unleash the potential of householders and businesses to really embrace these new technologies. And the Reflex project is gonna help people do that by providing pre-financed technology. So that instead of people having to go and buy the technology they're applying, they can lease it. And we think that will be transformational to the way people see their energy supplies. Orkney's really been at the forefront of low carbon technology for probably 20 years now. We're a world leader in wave and tidal technology. We've got some amazing things around the smart grid, high uptake of electric vehicles. We're also leading the charge in hydrogen as well, which is a bit of a fuel of the future. So we're really trying to capitalise on all that amazing generation that we've been doing to date in Orkney, taking advantage of these natural resources, and then looking at the demand side response and how we optimise the way that we use energy in Orkney. Information and understanding has been a key to Orkney's success. It's not that people have just delivered solutions and then people have adopted them. People have adopted electric vehicles, they've adopted renewables around their homes, or around their farms, because they have a, an innate understanding of it. And that's because we've had a conversation about renewables and the value of decarbonising energy for over 20 years. So that understanding needs to continue and deepen and that's again a part of the, the Reflex project. It is a case of showing how this problem can be solved in a place like Orkney but uh, be applied to anywhere in the UK or globally as the whole world starts to transition to renewable energy.